Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is enjoying time with their family and friends. And of course, uh, we should all be thankful for our health. Uh, if I sound a little uh, weird or like kind of rattled, um, yesterday, unfortunately, there was like a shooting in a building like across the street. So it was kind of weird. Like I went out for lunch, everything was fine. Uh, when I came back, uh, there was like police tape and like all these like uh, police officers uh, surrounding like the the neighborhood. So it was kind of like weird, but um, you know everything seems to be okay now. So you know I, I really hope uh, everyone is is doing well uh, because you know our health is uh, the most important thing. Uh, and well, let's get on to like some of the happier stuff. So again, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, ho hopefully, um, you're enjoying time with family and friends. So, up until now, uh, Schwab didn't allow you to borrow against uh, your Tesla shares. Uh, but that's, uh, fortunately, that has taken a positive turn. So, as you can see, I went to like the Schwab, um, their pledge asset uh, line uh, lookup uh, table, uh, just to see if anything changed. And thankfully, uh, it has. Uh, so, as you can see, the third from the top, TSLY, uh, now you can borrow up to like 50% against your shares, the value of your, of your shares. Um, and I, I put in like the other uh, ticker symbols just to give you a comparison. So even for like the, one of the most pop, uh, popular and like most traded um, like uh, ETF shares, like the SPY, you can only borrow uh, up to 70%. And then also like C C. SCHD, like the Schwab, this popular uh, Schwab ETF, the same thing, you can only borrow up to 70%. So the fact that you can borrow 50% against um, your Tesla shares doesn't seem like a great thing. But if you look at uh, even just like the regular like Tesla shares, you can only borrow uh, 60%. So, you know, this is, I think this is a good start um, because like, look, like even for NVIDIA, like your regular NVIDIA shares, like you can, you can borrow 70%. But NVDY, you, um, I would think that like, uh, since it's also another popular uh, yield max ETF, like I thought like maybe it would be also 50%, but you can't even do that. Uh, so, and then we if we go to JEPI, J-E-P-Y, same thing, uh, standard, uh, 70%. Uh, but J-E-P-Y, you can't borrow against that yet. Uh, so hopefully, I think as liquidity improves and the more... Um, volume that, that's available, I think that could help change um, uh, people at Schwab's mind. Uh, so even like SPYI from NEOS, is, it's not eligible. But this is where it starts to get really interesting. XYLD, uh, this is considered a standard, uh, so you can borrow up to 70%, so that's interesting. Uh, TLTW, uh, um, same thing, like I this is this is good. Um, we can borrow up to seventy percent if you have like this ETF, um, and then for TLT, uh, same thing, seventy percent. And here's where it's at least to me this is really interesting because clip. I thought maybe it would also be like fifty percent similar to TSLY, but here you can borrow uh, seventy percent. So maybe that indicates to me that Schwab doesn't see as much risk uh, in clip. So that's that's pretty interesting. So it's sort of like um, tilts me more in favor of maybe getting some shares soon. Uh, so even KWeb and like the regular ARC uh, fund, 70%. Here, this is also surprising because I, th I would think that OARC, uh, it's been around almost as long as Tesla. So I th would have thought like they would have allowed also maybe uh, 50% at least, but um, it's not eligible. Well, at least for now. So again, maybe as like liquidity picks up, I'm thinking that's one of the factors um, for like how they decide how to like allow um, borrowing. So this is definitely a, um, a step in the right direction. So as maybe like as the funds, these uh, yield max ETFs like mature, uh, I'm hoping that we can get some borrowing against it uh, because this is important. Um, you might not think it's important now, but as your the value of your Tesla shares increase, and then like you know maybe a few years down the road, um, you're you're collecting some good dividends, um, 
and maybe you want to maybe consider like other investments like a rental property or something like that uh you know this is when like it, it'll when that when it'll be more important so just to show you again like even just like coinbase or regular shares you can only borrow 50 percent. so you know it's in, i think it's in good company uh coney unfortunately you can't borrow against it um and then just to show you like a like a for like a point of reference like the i think this is like probably like the most that you can borrow against like if you have like a schwab treasury uh fund uh like a money market fund uh you can borrow up to 96 percent. so that's that's something um so just to give you like a benchmark and then also some potential other good news uh i know like a lot of people are kind of grumpy because like tsly like the shares are still kind of um in the basement uh like I'm like you see some of my uh, orders outstanding. Uh, I'm trying to get like like another ten shares, maybe at like a stink bit of like nine ninety nine. But I don't know if that'll ever get filled. I know it's kind of depressing, but just to kind of put things in perspective, uh, TSLA like it's still heavily shorted. Um, this gentleman, uh, Ewar Dusanewski, um, this is actually pretty surprising. I didn't know like. I know Tesla was like uh, a popular short, but I I didn't know it was like the at least like for now the world's largest short. Uh, eighteen point six billion is a you know pretty pretty large uh, dollar number. Um, and I just went to like Yahoo Finance just to compare to see if like the numbers uh, still line up. Um, but like uh, unfortunately on uh, on Yahoo Finance like the like the just the statistics. Um, it's only up to like October thirtieth, so I don't know who has like the more, um, the most accurate numbers or most a most current number. But over here, it's like eighty four million shares short, and over here he he is he says it's eighty three point eight four, um. So it's you know within the ballpark it seems reasonable. So I think like this this person is uh, has the most current um information, so, you know. I know it, it seems like it's bad news now, but don't forget uh, there's a Cybertruck announcement coming up, and then also maybe heading towards like the you know like the Christmas and then general holiday season. Um, you know Tesla shares could could really improve, especially if there's like some good news that that we currently don't know about. Um, you know, out of all the stocks that out there, like Tesla is one of those ones that you don't want to bet against like long term. Uh, because there's definitely a lot of like a, a crazy fan base, and there's like it's almost like a cult like following, so it's hard to uh, stay short like Tesla for long. So, you know, like I'm in there with you guys too. Like I have like uh, you know TSLY. Um, I'm hoping things will improve like definitely by like the the first quarter, or, or at least that's what my hope is. Uh, so you know, everybody hang in there. Uh, like, you know, the general market conditions are pretty positive. So I'm hoping uh, Tesla and TSLY will follow. So, like, the pros is, like, it's still, you know, I'm trying to accumulate more shares while it's still relatively cheap um, because I think TSLY still still offers a good um, good yield. Uh, so hopefully I can, you know, fill up more shares before, like, it skyrockets back up. Uh, at least that's that's my, my thinking um, and my, my opinion. And then the risk, of course, of like, you know, uh, I don't, you know, don't go crazy, don't borrow too much if you decide to do so. Because uh, TSLY might stay lower for, than like when we hope. And I'm not sure exactly when Schwab will allow borrow against other yield max ETS, but I'm hoping like as like, again, as liquidity picks up, uh, things will improve. And then we can also borrow against like these, the other popular like high yield ETFs. So, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, and then again, I just want to say thank you for everyone that's uh, took the time to like, like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. Uh, that means a lot to me. So I'm really thankful for you guys. Um, and again, like you know, just in general, I hope everyone has enjoys good health, uh, good wealth, and all that kind of good stuff. So um, I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.